So a lot of you have been emailing me on both of the accounts. You've been asking me, why is Angry Grandpa banned from Walmart? So here's the story. There's actually multiple stories. So one of the stories has to do with one of the days Angry Grandpa went grocery shopping. And he had this giant buggy just filled with just shit he didn't need. So instead of the lady putting the bags in the buggy, she starts sitting them on the floor. And Angry Grandpa's already getting angry. He's, Ugh. So he has to start putting them in the buggy himself. And as he's pulling himself uh, out of the store, a loaf of bread falls on the ground and he steps on it as he's walking. This made him flip out. He reaches in the bag and picks up a jar of jelly and he throws it against the wall and it just sprays everywhere. Jelly and there's glass. And the, the door greeter, she was like, oh my God. Next thing you know, the manager walks up and the manager asks dad if he would leave the store. And that's when dad flips out because if you ask dad something like that, he's already not gonna be happy. So after the manager asks dad to leave the store, dad walks up to the wall where the jelly is and starts rubbing his hand in it, then grabs the bread and starts smearing a piece of the bread with the jelly and goes to eat it. Hey, motherfucker, I'll eat me a glass and goddamn jelly sandwich. And those, that's word for word what he said. Now, the manager tells dad he needs to leave the store. Dad still doesn't leave. And there's a lot of cars. Dad instead starts screaming about how it's because he's white, <laughs> it's because he's poor, and Obama this, and, and at this point, security walks up. And instead of walking Dad out the store, they walked him to the back to the other side of the store. The next story comes when Dad went to the tire center because he needed new tires on the van. He goes out there and there's a guy walking out of the tire center as he's walking up. And Dad says, hey, I need to get some tires. The guy, I was, I, the dude's attitude was rude. He looks at Dad and he says, I'm on my break. So Dad proceeds to stalk the employee around the Walmart store. He's following him going, I'm on my break, motherfucker, I want my break, I'm on my break. And he won't stop. Security comes back. They already remember him. They said, you're not even supposed to be here. They kick him out of the store. They say next time they're going to call the police. Now, there's been, there's been other times he's tried to go in, and now they recognize him. He'll get into the store and he starts shopping, but midways they'll come up to him and ask him to leave the store. He is not allowed in Walmart. Unfortunately, there's another story to tell from a totally different Walmart. This story, Angry Grandpa walks in there and he goes to the deli section where they cut the meats and stuff, and he goes in, he orders about five or six pounds of roast beef. Now five or six pounds didn't fit in one of those packages. So they put all of his pounds of roast beef in like three different three different clear packages, but only labeled one with a price tag. And the price tag was like $35. He was already pissed off about that. When he gets something that's too expensive, he always does the same thing. Huh, God damn, better be some good goddamn roast beef. So the roast beef was too expensive already for him. So we get to the register and the lady doesn't see separate packaging markings on the packages. And she goes, she, I'm gonna call management. And so I tried to be nice. I was like, oh, I'm so, oh ma'am, that's actually for one. Um, they, they, they wouldn't fit in three packages, so they priced it for one. She goes, um, I don't think you know what you're talking about. And Dad blew. He goes, let me tell you something, you goddamn bitch. Motherfucker, I pay for God. And he goes off on a minute tirade about how the roast beef was already too expensive and now she's gonna charge him more and how she's a fucking bitch and how she's on welfare and how Walmart must have hired her through the Goodwill system. Push come to shove, security came with the police. He can't go inside Target. He can't go inside McDonald's. He can't go inside Papa John's fucking pizza. He can't go anywhere anymore because every time he goes, he starts shit. There's been times where he's ran around the store screaming for somebody because there's two registers with employees and 30 registers with nobody on it. Oh, nobody wants my goddamn money. Why? Because I'm paying them food stamps. Angry Grandpa is not the kind of person you want walking into your store. And they've realized that. And now he's banned from almost everywhere. There's only a few places that he is still allowed inside. 
and frankly, I'm surprised he still is. Hey, Pop. What? Are you excited about your Christmas presents? You kissed my ass. Walmart gift cards, buddy. I don't want no damn Walmart gift cards! Just say, send me Walmart gift cards. Stick them up your ass! Send them. If anybody send me a Walmart gift card, you gotta know about it. Turn it off!